Charity Village Connects. Today we're celebrating the 2023 winners of the Charity Village National Awards. Joining me is Lorenda Calvert, Program Manager at BC Museums Association, winner of Best Nonprofit Employer for Workplace Mental Health for an organization of under 20 staff. Congratulations and welcome, Lorenda. Thank you so much. Wonderful to be here. So why don't you start by telling us about your organization and what made you decide to submit uh, the nomination for, for the award? Sure. Um, so the BC Museums Association is a nonprofit organization that supports museums throughout the province of BC. That's what our name is, it represents what we do. Um, there are over 600 museums in BC and the BCMA uses the broadest terms of museums. So that's a sort of catch all umbrella name uh, that includes science centers, aquariums, um, parks, galleries. If you think it might be a museum, we probably count it as a museum. Uh, we have over 450 members that we support directly and each province actually has their own provincial museums association. And then we have the Canadian Museums Association, and then there's the international associations as well. Uh, and that support looks like advocacy uh, work. Um, it looks like grant administration. It looks like uh, learning opportunities, webinars, workshops, resources, and annual conferences. And that's where I come in as the programs manager with the BCMA. I look after those webinars, workshops, resources, and online courses. Um, it's a, it's a job that I'm really passionate about and, and I'm very happy to be at the BCMA. I've been with the BCMA since March of 2020, um, which I'm sure brings back a lot of uh, memories for folks, March of 2020. And that does tie into why we applied um, for this. We, like many people, uh, were facing a changing world. Um, the arts and culture sector relies on public engagement and people coming to your organizations and connecting with your exhibits, with your programming, um, and so does our work. It, it relies on those uh, arts and culture organizations and connecting with people. So we were facing a lot of challenges, um, and I believe that we rose to the occasion to create a new workplace that was one of collaboration, connection, and that supported um, mental health in the workplace, especially as we moved through those really challenging first few months of the pandemic. And when we saw this and wanted to apply, we were um, being recognized as a finalist, being recognized as a winner. We were hoping to use that as an opportunity to model to our sector the work that we've been doing as an organization and hopefully inspire organizations um, throughout the province to perhaps adopt some of the things that we've put in place at our workplace. Well, what do you think made your nomination really stand out? I mean, I'm sure there were other very worthy organizations, but you must have been doing something special. I'm so sure. Uh, looking at the other finalists, that these organizations are doing wonderful work as well. And I can't speak for the adjudicators why they, they looked at our application and thought that ours stood out. Um, but I can speak to the work that, that we have undertaken at the uh, BCMA. And to me personally, what I think makes us stand out is that we are a person first organization. A lot of the decisions that we make, uh, the policies we put in place and the work that we do really centers the people of our workplace. We're a very small team of eight staff members, um, but all of the initiatives that we've implemented, which includes a bi-annual uh, rules and responsibility meeting where we visually display what everyone's um, workloads look like so that we can ensure that there's no one overburdened, uh, which helps with burnout. We have a flexible work policy, which accommodates uh, staff members with chronic illness or folks who have caregiving roles. We have a flexible stat holiday policy. So if you don't want to take a traditional colonial stat holiday, um, but would like to embrace a different one, that's absolutely celebrated at BCMA. Um, we have a very transparent HR policy that has been developed, which includes salary transparency. Um, we have a biannual uh, justice, equity, diversion, and inclusion training for the staff. We just completed a bystander um, intervention training. Uh, in addition to that, we have quarterly justice, equity, diversion, and inclusion um, reports that we share with our membership and sector. Uh, speaking to the work that we're undertaking at our organization. We are a certified living wage employer that was adopted by our board. Um, 
And then beyond all of that, we also have these resources that we've created that we share with our sector, um, which is, again, where my role comes in, where we have created a mental health toolkit. Um, we've had webinars on uh, becoming a living wage employer. We've had webinars on what unionization might look like. Uh, we have resources that center an employer's role in burnout and addressing um, equity in the workplace. Often you see resources that come from the individual that advocate for uh, steps that you need to take, like getting more rest, but we really want to center that it could be um, more focused on uh, the employer. So it sounds like you had a very multifaceted approach to your programs. I shouldn't interrupt you. Please continue. I was just going to say, it's a very long-winded way of saying uh, these are all the things that I think make our workplace really special, and I'm sure that the adjudicator saw that and also recognized that, but I don't want to speak to um, what the, the adjudicators saw in our application or didn't see, and again, we were with some wonderful finalists that I'm sure have a fantastic programs for their workplace as well. Well, don't be too modest. Um, clearly, you impressed everyone in terms of the Thank programs you. programs that you offer. What does being named uh, a winner for this award mean to you and your organization? It's really wonderful to be awarded uh, a winner for this. It really um, was a team we were celebrating that this really recognizes the, the work that we've been doing, the path that we've been on is uh is a good path to be on. Um, and we're really excited to share this with our membership and our sector. Um, and we really hope to, to use this as an opportunity to highlight those programs and uh, inspire organizations to adopt similar programs or really just to model this behavior um, and encourage them to explore these as potential options for their workplace. So it was really wonderful to be a winner and we really hope to take this uh, acknowledgement and inspire change within the arts and culture sector. Well, I think it's just wonderful that you're you're uh, interested in sharing your strategies and your overall plan with the sector at large and other organizations, um, because that's so important in order to be able to create a, a really healthy and psychologically safe uh, workplace across the nonprofit sector. So thank you for all the wonderful work that you've been doing and making the sector and the communities you serve and the organizations that you uh, have as memberships and your own staff a much better place and uh, a much healthier environment. So congratulations again. Thank you very much.